picked up this 25 inch Neotech monitor from Riverside the other day. Came out of a six slot Neo Geo cabinet. It is complete, working, burn free monitor. Let's see if we can swing around the back side there. Look at one side of the chassis board, and what we have here is the video right here. The remote board I have tied up over there. So and the probably see right there the end of the cap right there has been discharged already it was already um, taken out of the cap before i got there so it saves me some trouble from doing it um we got here the little information off to the side some information on that model and it's a phillips tube you can see right there um, let's see if we can get in close to the this side of the neck board as um, far as I can tell, it's all original. No, no cap job's been done. It's a little dirty, but that shouldn't matter too much. I just got to figure out a way on how to clean this bastard. Because compressed air doesn't work. Uh, if you're wondering about the electrical tape, I put it up. I put it over the end of cap hole to cover it. So dust or mouse droppings doesn't get in there. I don't have to worry about that because I got two cats in the house. Um, there's a shot of the remote board. I tied it temporarily with a zip tie there so I can keep it from dangling around as I move it. And here's the other shot of the uh, remote board, of the uh, neck board, excuse me. Uh, as you can see there, it's neck board's fairly clean, just a dusty. i um, wonder how to go about cleaning it. heard some people wash it, but I generally don't want to do that. Figure maybe compressed air would do it. Um, the one compressed air can I have d doesn't seem to work too well. So hopefully, you know, it shouldn't hamper the performance of the monitor too much as long as it's not overly cruddy. But as you can see on top of the caps here, it is, it's been in there for a while. It doesn't look like anything's been changed, judging by how, you know, dusty it looks, all that dirt. Um, we got here is the power cord there and all the way in the back. I don't know if you can see it's probably on the other side is the monitor cable, which is these guys uh, like right there. Uh, coming out sides very solid. This will go into that cabinet. Let's see if I can swing the get the light to go over there. There we go. This is a Dynamo clone. Um, I bought it three months ago from some dude, had a busted 26 inch monitor in there. I ripped it out because it wasn't working and I bought a RGB converter board. Seems to work. Uh, everything works. My Street Fighter board works and down there you can probably see I do have a Midway Wolf unit board. It's actually a Rampage World Tour, but I do plan on converting that one to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Here is the power board minus the isolation transformer. Everything works. I just have to mount the monitor first. So that's probably the next goal is to make a new bracket for this bastard to go inside.